When your credit sucks, it can be a wicked catch-22 because you need credit to build credit, but every time you apply for a credit card, you get a credit inquiry which further brings down your score. You already know how important it is to rebuild your credit, and the faster you get started, the faster you can get your credit score back up high where you can have a more normal life. Today, I'm going to give you several credit cards that will approve just about anybody with a heartbeat, and these credit cards are designed for helping you rebuild your credit. Everything I'm sharing with you today is 100% free. No company has sponsored this video and all of the credit cards I recommend today report to all three credit bureaus to help you build your credit faster. Before we get into the credit cards that approve almost anyone, I really encourage you to watch my other videos on how to repair and build your credit because there's so much more to cover. I'll leave those links down below. And even though I'm giving you five credit cards today that can help you build your credit, I really encourage you to watch my other videos because the goal is to get your credit over that magical 750 so you can qualify for the best interest rates possible. Let's answer a few questions about dealing with bad credit. The first question I commonly get is, can you get a credit card with bad credit? The answer is yes. Just understand that these are no frills cards and these aren't the fancy ones you see advertised with points and perks and all kinds of rewards. It's a no frills card designed to help you get better credit and it's a transitioning point from where you are to better credit and better options. Why are secured credit cards the best for rebuilding your credit? Well, number one, they're easy to get. Two, you provide a refundable security deposit. And number three, it allows you to build a good credit history. Are secured credit cards the easiest to get? Absolutely a big yes on that one. And the first four cards I've listed will pretty much be given to almost anyone and one of the cards does not even run a credit check on you. That said, the credit cards will still require a source of income and if you think about it, that's fair. Let's go over the top five credit cards if you have bad credit. The first one is the Discover It Secured Credit Card. It has no annual fee. You put up a $200 refundable deposit. You can apply with a credit score of 300 to 629 and it is by far the best overall option for you as you start to rebuild your credit. The Discover It Secured Credit Card reports to three major credit bureaus. It offers rewards and a sign-up bonus. It's a path to unsecured credit and it gives you a chance to upgrade to the unsecured uh, credit after eight months. And this is really good if you have no credit or bad credit. Number two is the Capital One Secured MasterCard. It has no annual fee, a refundable security deposit of $49.99 or $200, and you can apply with a credit score of 300 to 629. This is the best overall card for you if you want to have a low deposit on your secured credit card. The Capital One Secured MasterCard is the perfect card if you were looking to build your credit. It's not fancy, there's no annual fees, and it gets the job done. Plus, you can increase your credit line after your first five payments are on time. Number three is the Open Sky Visa card, and it has a $35 annual fee, a $200 refundable deposit, and you can apply it with a credit score of 300 to 629. And with Open Sky, this is one of the few cards where there is no credit check and there is no bank account needed. If you've been turned down by other secured credit cards, this is your best option because Open Sky believes in giving people a chance. Number four is the DCU Visa Secured Card, and this has no annual fee, a $500 refundable security deposit, and you can apply with a credit score of 300 to 850. This card comes with a few benefits that the other cards do not. For instance, it has a low 13.75% annual percentage rate. It has insurance, travel, car rental, and warranty benefits. And you must be a member of the Digital Federal Credit Union, but that's pretty easy to accomplish. This card may not be for everybody because of the $500 refundable security deposit, but if you're going to carry a balance, this could be the best card for you because of that lower interest rate. And number five is the Chase Freedom Unsecured Credit Card. The Chase Freedom Unlimited Secured Credit Card has no annual fee, no security deposit. You earn 5% cash back on up to $1,500 in combined purchases in special bonus categories. You earn an unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase. It has a 150 cash bonus after you spend $500 in the first three months and cash back rewards never expire. This is the best option if you can qualify for it. This is our best pick from our video, the top five credit cards for beginners, because it is a great card that you can grow with and it is the next step in your credit rebuilding process. 
apply for the Chase Freedom Card after you have already reestablished some good credit. Let's quickly go over how your credit score is calculated. Payment history accounts for 35% and this just means you want to make all of your payments on time. Amounts owed is 30% and this is often called credit utilization and ideally you want to use 1-9% to of your available credit or up to 30%. Length of history accounts for 15% and this is just what your track record is for how long you've had your credit cards. New credit accounts for 10% and credit mix also accounts for 10%. If you want to understand how to get a great credit score then be sure to watch my video How to Fix Your Bad Credit Score Yourself where I go through everything that goes into your credit score and what you can do to improve it. What should you do next? Get one to two of the credit cards that I listed and then start paying them off every month. Number two, you want to watch my video on how to repair bad credit yourself. That'll put you on your way. And number three, you want to smash that like button. Hopefully this video has been a big help to you to point you in the right direction for some credit cards that you can get started for rebuilding your credit. I've kept this short and sweet because I know you're just after the information. So just do me a favor, smash that like button and I will see you on the next video.